Welcome, I'm from the Apple A52 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you boot it up for the first time you will be presented with the language select and all kind of obvious select your language so I'm gonna go with English and stop on next and select your region. Now it's completely up to you. I believe this will also determine the time zone that you that the phone will be set to. And on the next page we have terms of service. So as you can see um, we do have to agree to the first one which is user uh, agreement. Now you can tap on the blue text to read this entire um, well, book that they have basically on user agreement and from there make sure you select it and tap on next otherwise you can't really finish the setup of the device. And from here if you want to, you can connect to Wi-Fi. Now this step is completely optional. I'm going to choose to skip it. The only benefit of connecting to Wi-Fi is later on throughout the setup, you can log into your Google account and also restore the device from the Google Cloud. Now, if you don't care about either of those at the moment, you can simply skip it. And if you want to later on, you can go to the settings and in the account section, connect to your Google account if you wish to. Then we have Wi-Fi Assistant. Now this option is actually fairly handy. I would advise you to select it. What it does is chooses the best network. So if you have two networks that you are connected to in the same place, um, for instance, like a worker environment where uh, usually you have multiple Wi-Fi's um, and uh, this option will basically choose whichever one is the strongest. So uh, you have all the fastest connection uh, possible at the moment. And below that, we also have the uh, auto switch to mobile network. So if all the Wi-Fi's in your area that you're right now in are pure and utter garbage, the phone will automatically switch to your mobile network. Now, I would not advise to keep this on if you're, if you're the type of person that doesn't actually have much uh, mobile data in their plan. Uh, so if you have about a gig or so, I probably would keep that off. Uh, if you're racking like 10 gigs, then probably by all means you can keep this on and not really care about it. But like I'm saying, if, if you tend to use or watch a lot of videos um, and you have really low data limit, probably not the best option to enable. So yeah. Now from here, let's go next, and then we have Google services. So we have the location services, allow scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. I can read each one of them exactly what they do. As you can see, it's written right over here for all of them, and you can enable them or disable them uh, based on if you want it or not. And then once you go all the way down, you can tap on accept and proceed further. And on this page, we can now set up a lock screen. So let's tap on the settings. By default, it goes into a six-digit six pin, but you can change the uh, locking method. So we have pattern, four-digit password, 4216, and just a normal alphabetical password. I'm going to go with the pattern. From there, simply draw the pattern, redraw it once more, and there we go. And now it goes to face recognition. Now this step is completely optional if you want it or not. Uh, if you choose to, you can simply tap on continue, and it's a fairly quick one. As you can see, well, there I am with my completely amazing hair and well the camera is a little bit in the way there we go so once it's set up it asks you if you want to enable the turn uh, on screen uh, basically when you raise the device um, so again it's completely up to you if you want it or not uh, basically when you pick up the phone it will turn on the screen so it can um, automatically try to unlock it uh, using the front camera with the face unlock and then automatically progresses to fingerprint. Now you could stop at any moment with these and simply tap on cancel. So if you don't want to add a face recognition, you can tap on cancel in that page as well. And it will keep the pattern, pin, password, whatever you have set and just cancel the other things that it goes through. And from here I've recommended, so auto update overnight, uh, preference, if you want it, enable it. If you don't, then don't enable it and then home screen icons. So when you tap on it, it will show you three different home screen icon styles that you, the device comes with. And from here, select whichever one uh, you like. You can tap on apply then, and just simply go to next. And from here we have import data. Now this import data is, I believe, the one that uses uh, the Realme, or not Realme, but Oppo application. So um, 
they will have their own application that you will have to download on your older device assuming it is not a oppo device and it can be found in normally in the play store from there you launch it on well here you but basically you tap on import data from old phone and there you launch the app and it gives you a guide to connect the devices and from there it should give you all the data that you can transfer and if you're setting it up as new simply tap on later and from here get started and we're done with the setup so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching